This video is sponsored by Bose, makers of the acclaimed Bose Aviation Headset 10, and by Weatherworks, delivering portable, highly accurate, localized weather information to pilots throughout the contiguous U.S. Five thousand six hundred sixty-five aircraft built from kits by people like you originated with this man. Dick Van Grunsven, founder of Vans Aircraft, talks here with Kit Planes editor Mark Cook at Sun and Fun about Vans' latest design, a light sport aircraft, the RV-12. What's new? What's going on at Sun and Fun? Well, we're here with our usual fleet of airplanes that we've developed over the years, and we're proud to be here with our new RV-12 uh, light sport class airplane. Uh, we finally got most of the development done. Uh, we're offering a partial kit, the wing kit, here at the show. And the balance of the airplane is well along in development and testing, but just not quite ready for prime time yet. So you've developed a lot of airplanes in your career. What were the challenges with this one? Some of the challenges here were trying to make the airplane almost the ultimate in simplicity to build. So that really takes more uh, design and development effort to make a simple airplane. The other, we were designing it to meet uh, light sport category uh, standard requirements, so it had to be a little more uh, systematic and complete documentation and testing. So does that suggest that you're going to apply this as a, for an SLSA so you can kit ELSAs? What's your plan there? Well, we are uh, planning to certify it SLSA. Yeah. which means it could be either a manufactured aircraft or a kit aircraft. Uh, initially, it will be a kit aircraft. Uh, any uh, flyaway manufacturing will be further down the road and would really depend upon what the market, uh, market volume or market demand proves to be. Sure. Now, I know there were some changes to the wing and things from the previous prototype. Walk me through just a few. Okay, we uh, had flown the uh, proof of concept prototype over a year and a half ago and we found that the stall speed was a little high for light sport requirements so we went back and redesigned the wing, added a little wing area, some other changes and uh, elsewhere in the airframe there were numerous minor changes. Nothing that shows up but things that take time to really get ultimately refined. Sure. Now you've chosen a Rotax 912. How was the decision-making process for the engine on this airplane? Well, there are a couple of criteria there. One, we needed a light engine to meet the, the weight requirements, and the Rotax was the best choice uh, from those that we evaluated. The airframe was really designed around that engine. It's not the type of airframe that you can just hang any engine on and uh, really be um, well, anywhere is near optimized, so it's it's kind of an integral package between the airframe and the engine, and it's a happy combination. It works well. Now the RV series is renowned for superb handling qualities. You've got a little Thank bit you. different configuration. You've got flaperons and you've got a stabilator. What kind of a challenge was making that configuration fly like an RV? So first, we didn't expect this to fly exactly like our heavier, faster airplanes. Uh, a slower airplane is almost bound to have different handling qualities. You don't have the inertia, you don't have the mass. Uh, so what we were after was uh, light responsive controls as much as we could achieve with, with the weight and speed that we have. We feel we've accomplished that quite well. It, uh, in our opinion, flies much more like an RV than it does a Cessna. And that may offend some people, but it'll make other people happy. So we think it's a very pleasant airplane to fly. Uh, easy airplane should be good for low time pilots and still enjoyable by high time pilots. The airplane you see here weighed in at 738 pounds which uh, I can't do the math in my head just that quick, but it means you can put two um, pilots of 200 pounds, full fuel, and still a baggage allowance. So that's practical in my book. A lot of airplanes that won't do that. Well, there are a lot of factory airplanes that won't do that. So again, we've worked very hard to achieve that. 
and we're very pleased with it. And I, I think the builders and pilots will be too. We're uh, offering wing kits for this airplane now and we've been taking a fair number of orders, thankfully. Uh, and we'll have the balance of the kit in weeks or months as we're able to get it completely developed. So that means uh, Sun and Fun next year will have a whole fleet of uh, customers. Well, I hope there are at least a few here, yes. That's great. Big thank you very much for your time.